Well, we're really excited to have put out uh, over a million dollars worth of breathing apparatus to all of our fire stations in Volusia County in the last month. This is the end of a, a long project that started well over a year ago to make sure that our firefighters have the best uh, respiratory protection that, that we can buy that meets all the current standards. This breathing apparatus is some of the most important protective equipment that our firefighters wear. It allows them to enter into a smoke-filled or hazardous environment and uh, they do that on a very regular basis. So it's uh, very much as important as the uh, structural turnout gear that they wear to get into uh, buildings, rescue people, and extinguish fires. These uh, were built to newer safety standards and so they are designed to uh, perform at a very high level. They also have enhanced electronics and so some of the features that we have in these breathing apparatuses, the firefighter can monitor their breathing air levels by watching a display in their mask and that's really important for them to monitor the amount of time they have to exit a hazardous environment. They also have a thermal imaging camera built into their air pack so every firefighter for the first time in Volusia County has access now to a thermal imaging camera. And what that does, it allows them to see in low visibility, see through smoke, and find victims and hidden fires inside a building. So that's a really important safety feature, and that was a big upgrade to these air packs. So these are our MSA air packs, the new models that we received. Uh, in, in this uh, display piece right here, we can see our air pressure. We can see the battery life left on the, the unit. And we can also have our thermal imaging display from this little screen here. So each air pack has a thermal imaging camera built into it, and this allows us to see if there's a person inside a fire in a smoky condition, this shows us the body heat, and then we can easily locate a victim. The, the actual camera's right here on the tip, so we can aim it as we're walking, and usually a victim will be low on the floor, so it works perfectly to be able to aim it where we're walking and where we're looking and he's showing you that you can get low to the ground and be looking through your camera. All right, so the first thing Ron does after he puts his bunker gear on, which is his bunker pants and bunker coat, he has his hood on underneath, which you'll see in a minute. He's putting his mask on, making sure there's a tight fit and so the air won't be released out the sides. And then he's gonna go ahead and put his hood, which helps protect you from heat in a fire, He's gonna put his hood on over his mask and make sure everything is nice and sealed up. The next thing he's gonna do is get his air pack ready and put his air pack on. Once he gets his air pack situated on his back, he's gonna go ahead and clip in. There's, there's shoulder clips and there's also clips for his waist. There's straps that tighten on the shoulders and the waist so that you get a good snug fit up high on your back to distribute the weight evenly. These are built so we can work longer. And now he's situated, he's ready to turn his bottle on. He's turning his bottle fully open so that he knows it's open and that the only other way to turn it when he's ready to be done with it is to turn it off. He's got his regulator now, he's gonna hook into his mask. And now he's got air supply. We can also hear him very clearly hey, through the voice amplifier. Can you hear me okay? This improves communication on the fire ground so that we can clearly hear each other and not have be muffled so we can't hear orders. So these are 45 minute air bottles. And, and generally speaking, firefighters work in crews, uh, teams of two or more uh, for about 30 minutes in a structural environment and that's a, a very taxing environment, but that extra air, that 45 minutes, makes sure that they have plenty of time to exit from a hazardous environment, and it provides an extra margin of safety for them. The last thing we do to be fully prepared is put our helmet and then our fire gloves on, and we're ready to go fight fire. So far, we have great reviews. We had a structured fire yesterday, and we, we saw them being used, and uh, I think people are finding that they're comfortable, and that the sa extra safety features are very uh, important to them, and that they're, they're getting good utilization so far.